Hey guys, well, we're Airsoft back here again today. And uh, today, I'm going to be doing a review on my trench. Uh, you guys haven't seen it in forever. Um, so yeah. Okay, uh, starting from the back. There's a nice ladder here. And as you can see, it's a lot, well, you probably can't see that. It's a lot deeper now. Uh, up here is a machine gun bunker. This is a uh, World War II 75 millimeter shell casing. Uh, I use it, I tie it to that, and then whack uh, this off of it and for a gas alarm. Uh, corrugated tin on either side of the trench. There is four boards underneath here. Um, redoing the bunker. And then I did have sandbags like this stacked the whole way along. But actually the wind knocked these over and there. Uh, so that's kind of a seat now. And then this is a fire step. That should be the whole way along there. A couple more ladders. Uh, inside the bunker. Nice wood now. Uh, I'm going to do this for you. And this wall. Uh, and over here more corrugated tin. Uh, and that wall. The floorboards are now about a foot off the ground. Uh, well, a foot to two feet off the ground uh, to prevent water. Well, it does a better job at it now. Um, then you can see right there is a sap trench. And we'll go take a look at that now. Okay, guys. Uh, now moving up to the sap trench. It's not very deep, as you can see. Uh, this is fake barbed wire. How it's supposed to be. It's just wire. Um, and here. And a little board here. Sit wherever, or sit wherever you want. And then if you kneel down here, you can see the German trench, the distance up there. With the sandbags, maybe. Um, yeah. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Uh, I know it was really short, but it's kind of really, really cold out today. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.